Hello everyone, it's Donnie and I have another unbagging for you today. This one is special because it is from Kevin. I, if I remember correctly, I've gotten something from Kevin before, but I don't remember what company he works for. So let's open it up and see. Ah, they covered it in tape at the entrance. Here we go. It's in a padded envelope. Oh. All right. It's a 25 by 30. And let's see what company it is. Give me one moment. All righty. This one is from a store called Shop 4412155 store. But it says that it's Red Apple brand. Not sure why they don't give their stores a name, but it's Red Apple brand. As you can tell, Red Apple brand. As you can tell, it's a very blue colored diamond painting. And I'm going to call this one the Blue Flame Eye. I don't know if uh, you, Danielle's seen this one or if she owns it. I can't remember because I know she has a lot of eyes as well. But I have quite a few eyes coming to me. And this one is on AliExpress. I paid $8.58. So it took 22 days to get here. It was ordered on October 12th. They shipped it October 13th and it arrived November 3rd. 22 days. So let's get into it and look at this canvas. It has lots of regular rubber bands on it, which seem to leave indentions on the canvas. So the white, those clear um, rubber bands are much better to use than these. Let's just hope it didn't do anything to the painting. Oh, here's the toolkit. It came with a few baggies. A, the large green boat with a cutout, a drill pin, and silver tweezers. Look at the drills in a minute. And as I can already see, there is been some wrinkling done to this canvas, the um, adhesive part at least. So let's see what it gives us. Again, I'm going to pull it off from the side of the table, even though it's really small, 25 by 30. I'm hoping it helps keep it straight. Here's the foam core. It's the medium size one. It's not the teeny tiny one. And it's not as thick as the last one I got, but it's thicker. So I really do not like the teeny tiny ones. I mean... Can't really hard to, it's hard to say how big it is. Well, let me just tell you. I'll measure it. That way I'll know for future too. This is a, in centimeters, it's um, about three centimeters, three centimeters in diameter, three and a half, about three and a half. In inches, that would be One and a quarter inch, almost one and a half. Yeah, it's really hard to bend it and show you. So what about a one and a quarter inch? Yeah. All right. So 20 by 35, when they actually send you 25 by 35, that's the actual drill area. That's not bad. If you were to get 25 by 30 and it did not, it was the, the canvas size, that would be pretty small. But 848, eh, it's kind of on the higher end price for a small one like this. But yeah, there's the, I can see the bubbles already from the canvas being the way it was. Yeah, all those spots left really large bubbles. A babbling brook there. There's rivers, 
It's just at the beginning though, so far. See that? See those bubbles? Yeah, you can really see that bubble very clearly. Yeah, and there's another one right there. It's from, that was evident from the cover. You could see the, that they were bent like that. And there's more over here. These are smaller ones. They almost would be rivers, but they've actually, they're actually protruding into bubbles. And here's the drill field. Look at that. It's pretty clear. You can read it just fine. And this is a square, a full square. But as you get down here, it looks pretty clear. No bubbles, no rivers even. You can see the eye there. And here's the key. It's uh, a little small, but you can still read all of the symbols on the key very clearly. So this actually has 29 colors in it. For being this small, that's a lot of colors. So this should look pretty detailed. Let me open it this way. What? That's upside down. Let's do it. No, it actually, it goes this way. It's a portrait size. Yep, there's another more bubbling going on down here in the middle. Well, actually, that's not, yeah, that's, yeah, it's bubbling. It's protruding. But look how clear that is. Look at that. That is going to look really nice. Ugh. Those bubbles, though. I think I'm going to use this painting and I'm going to do a video right after this one showing you how to remove them. Let's do the other end. Well, not how to remove them, but how to fix them. The way I know how. And this is all in one piece, so you got to be careful when pulling it off because it could rip very easily. All right. All right, there we go. There's the bottom of the eye with all the flame. Nice uh, little bubble that goes all the way across. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's really sticky. Oh, great. Yeah, that's how sticky it is. All right, so there we go. That's our canvas. That's not too bad of a size. I mean, I'll show you the measurement here because it starts right there. And this is exactly 30, exactly. And going this direction, it is exactly 25. Yeah, 25 by 30. So let's look at these drills. I counted it when um, I was looking looking for it in the book. I was able to see the full um, key here, and I just counted them real quick. So let me set up real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, <clears throat> and I have everything written down that I need. So... Let me, oh, we can go over them real quick. 3808, 2, 169, 
two. Five eighteen three. Four thirteen one. Eight oh three. Three. Yeah. So hard to read. Three ten. There are five. Yep. Eight oh seven. One. Seven ninety nine. One. Thirty-eight, forty-two, four, eight, twenty-seven, two, oh, nine, thirty-four, one, thirty-eight, forty-four, three. 3843, 2, 9.39, Three. Eight twenty-three. We have two. And they did do a quality control. They have a quality control seal here and they have everything checked off. Nine ninety-five for thirty-seven sixty three. 966, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 3765, we have 3. 3750, 2. 311, 1. 826, we have 1. 414, we have 1. 813, we have 1. And 517, we have 2. And everything is checked off here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so as far as the scoring goes, the canvas condition, well, I'm going to take off half a point. I can't remember if I took off half a point or a whole point last time, but because the canvas condition can consist of different things, um, there it was quite bubbled, but it, there was no, it was not puckered, and the glue did cover the entire surface. So I'm going to take half a point off for the bubbles. So there's half a point. Uh, clarity symbols, they were good. Uh, complete drill inventory. Yes, all were complete, but I am going to start taking off a half a point if it's hard to read the symbols on the bags because they can control that by, by the type of bags that they use. So they're going to get half a point knocked off for using the type where you it has one color and up against the color of the drills inside that are the same color if you can't read it then they need to change it which you know anyone who uses the black is going to have, it's going to be hard to read um, the dark colors so if you're using the black thing the black paint on all of them and they're there's no exception for different colors. Not going to point off. So that gets two and a half. 
Um, everything is here. Outside packaging was what to be expected for something this small. And the inside packaging was great. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get a nine out of 10. And again, that is the Red Apple brand from shop 4412155 store. And what my question of the day is today, what is the most useful thing your mom or dad has taught you? And what I have come up with, because I have thought about it, is that love is blind. And it sure is, because there were so many things I overlooked because I was in love. And had I listened to my parents, you know, a lot of things would have been different today. But I am who I am because of what I've been through. So, you know, yes, I do have regrets, but I still learn from them. So as far as what my parents have taught me, that's valuable. Uh, what is most useful, I'm sorry, useful thing that my mom or dad has taught me is that love is blind. And that just speaks for itself. We all know what that means. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, um, please give me a like or a thumbs up on your way down to answering the question down below in the comment section down there. And... I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, have fun diamond painting and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye guys.